by it, and I brought and every time I looked at it, he was just like a minor character in this other pitch that, that, that was a show I'd had for a long time. And I looked at it and said, I think I think that guy's a show in and of himself. And I went into Swampy, who was you know the next office over, and I said, Swampy, you know that uh, that that character that I added to Life as a Fish, the the the, the he, at the time we called him Mikey, uh, that Mikey character, and he said, and and uh, and Swampy said. Oh yeah, I th I've always thought that c that character should have his own show. And I was like, really? Do you? Do you want it? You, how, how would that go? Do you want to do that together? And he's like, yeah, sure. And so we sat down and literally in an hour we had the entire premise for the show and the entire premise for the first episode done. And I started storyboarding it that day. Wow. And uh, and uh, and then I had like just the first like the the cold open all the way up to the. Uh, uh, to the theme song, which which I wrote that theme song in my in my office at home on GarageBand in about 20 minutes as just filler, thinking, well, at some point we're gonna we're gonna write a proper theme song that like has the name of the show or something in it, and uh, and then uh, uh, Jay Francis uh, told me after the testing, he said, oh by the way, the first thing is that the theme song's a home run. The kids are already <laughs> memorizing it and stuff like that. I was like. Well, my work here is done. <laughs> One less thing I have to do. And uh, and we had just gone up through the theme song, and uh, and I made an animatic, and I pitched that to the execs, and they fell in love with it. And said, okay, let's do this. And uh, and then it was a very, it was one of the quickest development processes I've, I've been through since then. Contrast-wise, from Phineas, which yeah, took 13 we, years yeah. exactly. to sell. This, this was like was from, faster. Yeah. yeah, from starting that, from from the first drawing of of Milo to it being picked up was like six months or something. It was a very very short period of time. But uh, and at the same time, uh, at, at what stage had you already pretty much wrapped up Phineas at that point, or where were you guys? Well, we were down to the point where you, you know um, I always say that when a when a anim when a like a, a sitcom ends. They call rap on the last day, and everybody has a big party, and everybody goes their separate ways, and it's just sort of like, like bang, it's good, it's it's over. And when an animated show ends, it's like a long protracted illness, <laughs> where you know, okay, so w one week, uh, finally, all the writers leave, and then you know, a couple weeks later, some of the storyboard people start to leave, and then this, ne the next team, and the next team, and then the production crew, and just like people just sort of dribble off the show slowly, and we we had 70 people on staff for one like 10 you years. In, you, your your production assistant. And an editor. Yeah, it, it, it got down to like five people on staff from from seventy, and then it 